Welcome to Right on Track with Renee Bernard. I'm Renee Bernard. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> the lesson today is about, uh, <clears throat> you know how you dance like nobody's watching? Well, sometimes that's how you write. We write as if no one is reading it because that is the only way to get through it on a rough day. So, while some, some of you are perfectionists and you want it to be flawless, you want to be Mozart, you want to just spit out the greatest novel ever in the history of history, I hate to break it to you, but um, that's not how it works. So sometimes you have to write horribly. You have to write so badly that that you will never, ever want anybody to see that draft. Because that's what a first draft is. <laughs> that's how it works. You just get through it. So, for those of you that are struggling and you're frustrated, I need you to take a deep, deep breath. And I need you to just give yourself permission to write badly. Really badly. Just, wow. Because that is why the gods invented the rewrite and the write it again. And then, bless them, this thing called an editor, which you will use because you're not an idiot. You will use an editor. You will send it to someone who knows what they are doing. Not your friend. Not your mother. Although my mom's actually a really good editor, so I take that back take that right back. But truly somebody that has a grasp. Okay. So, um, <laughs> but that's the next step, but you can't send it to an editor if you haven't written it. So in the immortal words of Judy McCoy, just write the damn thing. So whatever it takes to dance in your living room like a fool and just pretend that there's no one that can see you, even if it's just your cat looking at you like you're cray cray, that's how you need to write. I want you to screw your courage to the sticking place and just give yourself permission to go. And that is the lesson for today as a little pep talk. Um... <laughs> Just write, just, just write. Because you won't know what you're getting right or wrong until it's out, until you've gotten through it. So there's always advice, great advice, by the way, on how to write, how to structure, how to do, how to go. By the way, uh, I should tell you, there's a writer's conference coming up in uh, 2022. So you've got, you got time, friends. Um, but it's in late September, it's in San Diego. And it's the HRR, um, Historical Romance Retreat, but it's the writer's track. So um, you don't necessarily have to write um, historical romances. Certainly, I would say romance will probably be, you know, they're probably giving you tips. But writing is writing, guys. So that is going to be great. It's only two days. So if you're interested, that is a good one to go to. Um, and uh, there's limited seats. So that gives you much more uh, individual attention and the ability to really absorb. So it's just two days, the 26th and 27th, I believe, of September in San Diego. And registration is going to open June 1st. So there's just a little heads up. Uh, but um, that is, what did I got sidetracked? The point is, you can totally do this, but you have to stop beating yourself up as you go. You have to stop check, check, checking what you're doing as you go. Sometimes you just have to run. Just Naruto run. Naruto. Just run with your arms behind your back like an idiot. Just John Cleese it. Just do Monty Python funny walks and just get through that book because you can. Then you fix it. <laughs> then we work on it. But um, there you go. But there are tons of, um, you know, in-person um, writing, uh, conferences and, and instruction. Like I said, HR though, that's, I mean, I'm a little prejudiced, but that is a really good one to go to. Okay. I, think I, feel, I feel really bad. I just feel better. And for the dancing, I don't apologize.
there you go. And bonus, if anyone can guess what I was listening to, because YouTube won't let me play the actual song out loud because it's a copyright violation. But if you can guess what that song was, oh my God, I will send you a box with, uh, I'm going to say about, you know, 10 to 30 free romance novels from various authors that I have collected over time. I'm just going to send you a care package of reading material that will blow your mind. So there you go. All right. Hey, thanks so much. And everybody, you can do this. Stay strong. Be courageous. Write badly. Go forth boldly. And uh, stay right on track.